All-Star Weekend getting underway at the Mandalay Bay Event Center off the Strip. The AT&T WNBA All-Star Friday night. We have, we will have both the shooting, the three-point shooting competition and the skills challenge. Diamond the Shield with you later. First, the skills challenge rules. Two players will compete simultaneously, observing WNBA rules, of course. A ref might come into play, and the one who completes the course first will move to the next round. We'll have three rounds. First round semi in a championship. Time to go over to Aces. Today's contestants from the Minnesota Lakes, Nafisa Collier. From the Chicago sky, Diamond Dish Shields. From the Phoenix Mercury, Brittany Griner. From the Connecticut Sun, John Quill Jones. From the Minnesota Lynx, Odyssey Sims. From the Chicago sky, Courtney Vandersloot. From the Seattle Storm, Sammy Whitcomb. And from the Atlanta Dream, Elizabeth Williams. Vegas, let's hear it one more time for today's Skill Challenge contest. And I like that she tried it in three different ways until she found one that worked for her. So here we go. We're going to have eight players in this competition. Sammy Whitcomb and Courtney Vandersloot starting things off. Whitcomb showing some jacks down the court. And I'm impressed with both players hitting the pass on the first try. Quickest trigger in the WNBA, Sammy Whitcomb. But guess what? I think Sloot did it because her pass was just right on the money. Courtney Vandersloot advances, nailing that three. I mean, this is when you know it's going to be a fun night. This is not an easy pass to nail. And both players bullseye on first try. But Sammy Whitcomb with the quick trigger, but this time, time rewards Vandersloot. Wilson, and here they go. Don't sleep on Defisa. She's skilled. She's a quiet assassin. And just Ooh. technically sound as a rookie. Oh. oh! She forgot something. Jones nope. goes up. Kyer just hits, needs to hit this three. Jones still in it. Got it! Oh! What a recovery! What a comeback. This is what my girl does, okay? What a comeback. Smooth. She had a turnover, but she recovered. Now, if there's one player in the WNBA that's very sim similar to Kevin Durant, it is John Quell Jones. She balled with the ball, it does not matter. Still able to knock it down. And had two defenders, <laughs> like three. three. Tim making her first All-Star game, her first year with Minnesota. Now, if I didn't ride for the big so hard, I would have picked Odyssey just because she's quick with it. But she's hung up on the pass. See, I'm telling you, my girl Diamond, that's my favorite. She's gotta hit that shot, though. Made it look easy. Good pick so far, Chi. <laughs> You well, might be you gotta right. have some fun. You gotta have some fun might, to lose. Yeah, I was gonna say, you might be right. I was worried about her lack of focus. She doesn't have her patent shades on either, but she grabs this one out of the gate. And I'm impressed with the pass. Gets it on first try, but her, her teammate is Courtney Vandersloot, so she's been oh, she's got too about got, the assist. Oh, yeah, in practice, you know, her, her passing skills go up real quick. Just learning from the best. But look how smooth she is, just taking your time, tight around the cones. Maybe a little double dribble there and a hop and a travel, but who cares? As long as the shot goes in, right, folks? Yeah. With Williams on the other side. Now, this was the area of concern for a lot of people, BG with the dribble, but she, she's smooth with no, the pass is the concern. Oh, it's the pass? This is a post player's prop right here, the pass. Got it on the third try. Now, the question is, will she dunk? Maybe not because oh. she's behind. Never doubt, Griner, but Williams ends it. Elizabeth Williams, possible upset right here. This is an upset.
Now, Brittany Griner, she was a little bit behind, so she had to make sure it was 100%. What, what better way to be 100% than to slam dunk it? I mean, and Elizabeth Williams representing the Atlanta Dream, a team that doesn't have any all-stars. Oh, Jones. There was just a warning. Do not put your hands on the basketball to start. So because, because that was a, that clear. It was a twerk stand for the first round. Oh, see. Now it's actually a basketball see, stand. There you go. <laughs> Straight that out. They both get the pass through at the first opportunity. Vandersloot the head of the pack. Jones comes up. Vandersloot one three away from the final. Quell Jones! My favorite game stays alive. I told you, cool, calm, collected skills. Now the guards, if you notice, they get out to a quick start because they're good with the dribbling between, uh, between the cones. But JJ just keeps her pace. I mean, I think most people would say that the skills competition is made for guards, but how about the post showing out in this? John Quell Jones with the perfect pass. You would think that's where Sloot could have made some ground, but even coming back on the shot, the slower release. Ooh, your favorite. What did I say? Big girls need like in the final. Oh, fumble. Finger wide. Ooh, she's showing out. Williams two Still shots. Up, oh, Diamond. I mean, her name is not Diamond for no reason, okay? She came to shine, ladies and gentlemen. She does shine. You two are good pro prognosticators. Both of your favorites will be in the now, final. This is where things went amiss. <laughs> Bigs, we sometimes get carried away, but this time it's not a carry, it's a, it's a kickball. That's right. It's a kickball, and that gave Diamond enough time to get two shots up before Elizabeth Williams got one. So there's one, here's two, and that is the money ball, and I'm not talking three-point competition. There you Quickly again. All right, there it is. They were the two uh, last year that had to go into extra shots, and here's your final in the skills competition, Diamond to Shields and John Quill Jones. Jones with the advantage. Shields has plenty of time if JJ doesn't make that on first. That's going in. Diamond to Shields. Knocks it down to win the skills competition. She didn't give up. She didn't give up. I, I would be bad, but I'm very proud of Diamond to Shields because she's having a most improved type season this year in the WNBA. She is, and it's in her mentality. And you saw it there. Yeah, she had, she could have given up. That passing was rough, but she strided out right here, got up the court, a little air time. And this miss by John Quell Jones cost her the championship because the shield was made for the big moments. <laughs> and Diamond has selected a wonderful charity to be the recipient of her prize money, Hoops 20 Water Boys getting $10,000, so that is fantastic for the charity of her choice. And Diamond, the most important part, I and I think that's kind of what kept me going. I really wanted to get this money uh, to go to this charity. And Kate Mack came in second last year. Maybe this is the time for her to do it. Five shooting locations around the arc, four racks containing balls, one money ball, only be shot after the first four, and there you see the points. Two for the money ball, and each competitor has one minute. Time now to go back to the... Presented by Mountain Dew. Now, let's meet today's contestants. From the Las Vegas Aces, From the Indiana Fever, Erica Wheeler. From the New York Liberty, Kia Merce. From the LA Sparks, Chelsea But how about Janae didn't know. pick her own teammate, though? You might be in trouble. <laughs> Woo! Former teammate, too. Can't be too biased, right? Gotta 
give her feedback 24-7. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like oh, the game. Dude. Just like the, the game. Just like the game. That's my shooter. Let's go, Taylor. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, come on. Yeah. You warming up, baby. Come on. Come on, Kayla. Kayla. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Kayla. Come on, Kayla. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we do. That's what we do, baby. It's easy. That's it, nature. Come on. Money rack. Money rack. Money rack. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, come on, Matt. Come on, Matt. Come on, Matt. Come on, Matt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Matt. Yeah, Matt. Yeah, Matt. Yeah, come on, come on. Come on. Get me in the 20s, Matt. We gotta get in the 20s. We gotta get in the 20s. Come on, Matt. Come on. Yeah, we in the 20s. Come on. That is exactly how she finished. 22 big points for Kayla McBride, representing the Las Vegas Aces. Got a nice release on that. One thing I love about Erica Wheeler this year is that she just came out this season ready to take over. And her game has slowly expanded, attacking the rim, slasher, mid-range, now three. We don't know if she'll win this competition, but she's someone that has worked so hard in this league that she could win it in a year or two years, and that's the best version of herself. Because she loves being an underdog. She's always been an underdog. Nobody expects her to win. No one's talking about Erica Wheeler. Averaging a career high in points and assists this year for the Fever. She's got to get something going right here. She's got to get something going right here. And the Bryant had such a great round. Oh, that hurt her. That rack hurt her. Running out of time. Left side is tough for a right-hand shooter at, on the wing right there, that left wing. So 12 points for Erica Wheeler. So McBride with the win in the first round. I guarantee you she will use this as, a, as motivation and improvement. She's a capable shooter. Next year she'll probably be a knockdown shooter. And honestly, as good as she has shot the ball, as well as she has shot from three, her speed is her biggest it's asset. It's unreal. Gone to other things. Here's Kia Nurse representing Canada. Hey, she was an underdog pick for me. Again, talking about, like, the coolest thing about this All-Star, everyone talks about, like, the stars that are out. Well, the stars that have taken those stars' places, they have really had tremendous years. Kia, you have to guard her outside from three. But she's a versatile threat. If you notice when you see her play, she is number two under Tina, and Tina is a force. She provides that inside-outside balance primarily behind the arc. Well, Slow start, spot. but she hit her last few. You're right. She has a versatility in her game, but this is where she has been able to shine this season, shooting that long ball. Perfect form. I mean, she shoots it the same way every time, turns right into that shot. Kind of gets her shoulder, that shoulder into it on her release. And you know what? I'm going to go into my spark scouting report. I want to say that like 100 of, out of her 200 shots are threes. So this is a big part of her game, getting all the way to the rim, drawing fouls, and then spotting up. Pretty much like James Harden. Ooh. Baseline has not been kind to Kia Nurse. Money ball. Got it. Easily beat the clock, but Kia Nurse finishing with... 14 points. Kaylin McBride still way out in front. The most important rack, the money ball rack. This is where players really try. You know, most people see it in the corner or on the top of the key. She chose the left wing. Interesting choice. So Got those feet set. I mean, just was not falling for it. Janae Gwumake's teammate. I'm trying not to scream too loud into the mic. Let's go, Chelsea. You gonna do to her what Asia did with K-Mac out there? A hundred percent. I'm gonna say I'm gonna coach her, but I'm really just gonna yell and give her confidence. You got this, Chels. She's probably the most clutch player in the WNBA. Multiple games, we've had to come down to one or two possessions, and she's delivered so many times. 
Got the money ball, the only one in the first rack. She needs time to start expiring on her for her to yeah. get really Yes, ma'am. You better, Chels. Slow, slow release it's for right. Chelsea Gray. You got to hope she gets around because it takes her a while to get that thing up. Big rainbow shot. Yeah, she has a high arc on her shot, but it's great for rebounds. Come on, Chels. Now, she admitted earlier today she hadn't shot a lot. She's a past first point guard, so she has to get herself in a shooter's mind tonight. No, no, Latina, let me, let's be real right here. She just needs defense. She needs competition. She needs contact. She needs somebody hanging She on. needs somebody in front of her. She needs the pressure, and then it's automatic. Four, three, two, one. Tough one, but I'm still rocking with her all day, every day. If we were in Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, then she would have definitely nailed a few more, but. Big facts. Definitely got cold, and look at rack five, nothing. And now Shakina Strickland, second in the league in three-point field goal percentage this year. Not on the all-star team, but representing uh, Connecticut Sun. Now, Strick, she could be a, a dark horse for this competition because if you look at how she shoots, it's just a quick release, not too much movement, so she won't get too tired shooting. Some people need to jump. Some people need to step, catch, upper body strength, release. Again, former teammate. Okay. Now she's at the money ball rack. And she's nice and warmed up. That's why they like that money ball rack around the turn. Yeah, players can choose which of the five positions to shoot their money ball rack. Boy, the Connecticut Sun fans love it when she hits a three. That's when they get going. Clutch right now. She's got to hurry. Hit the money ball right at the buzzer. Now it's funny, she had the rack, you know, in the wing spot. I would have thought Strick liked the corner. Yeah. Because she's always in the corner, but at the top of the key, she's also money. Yeah. Shooters shoot. And again, quick release. You don't get too tired. All you do is rely on form. Two words, cash out. And look at that follow through. And we're being told that the final shot on this rack did count. Right here. Ooh, I don't know. That might have went off before she released it. We need a re review. Do you have any officials in the building? I need them to keep that same energy when we restart <laughs> our game. Just, <laughs> just give it to us. Let it count. Straight championship. She's a machine. Our sixth and final competitor in the three-point contest. Needs at least 21, which Kayla McBride hit. Now she did say, you know, she gets a little up nervous for this with everyone watching her. She doesn't like a lot of attention. One thing I love about Quick Shot, watch how she reacts to every shot she takes. She's making adjustments as she releases. So, okay, one's a swish. One hit the left side of the rim. One hit the right side of the rim. She'll, she'll auto-correct as she shoots and as she plays. Boy, she has a high release on her shot as well. She got a little bit more under it on that rack. You could see that. She got it up in the air. She was flat early on. Back rim, swish. That money ball rack, two swish. points for every man. She's got to move. She's running out of time. Left side of the rim, swish. Just constantly making adjustments. It's surgical when she shoots. Quigley hits the money ball at the buzzer, but not enough as she finishes with 19 points. Two, two, as we take a look at the first round totals, Kayla McBride and Shakina Strickland moving on to play. Strickland is going to start in this championship round because she had the lower of the two scores. She goes first. I don't think that's fair, but we'll address that in the break. <laughs> Strickland with 21 points, one behind McBride in the first round. 
Now, during this season, the, the Sun came out to a strong start. Then they sort of lost a couple games in a row. And during that losing streak, um, she, she really wasn't that involved. That's how essential her shooting is. And this is why. Connecticut starting to pick things back up. Connecticut and Las Vegas at the top of the standings as we hit the All-Star break. Here's the Moneyball rack. And I was happy to see the lead bring Strickland in for this competition because she deserves it. Sometimes, you know, you think they'll only use people that are an All-Star. Well, she's not an All-Star, but she does this very, very well. Having a great round. Strickland is not playing games. Now I like this because guess what? We're in Vegas. Night in and night out, and you see her. But strong finish. Look at those final two racks. When the game is on the line, rack four and rack five, what can you do with it? And Strickland came. Now Kayla McBride. When she was at Notre Dame, they called her Kayla McBuckets. Let's see what she can do. I think there's an advantage when you can sit back and watch. He's been getting ready. Big rack coming up right here. And the money ball. Electing to place it at the top. She's in a rhythm. She's taking her time. I love that her shot is straight up. Like her body is vertical, straight up and down. She'll need most of these. Big rack. When your legs get tired. McBride falls one point short. For the second straight year, Kayla McBride is the runner up and Shakina Strickland. As you mentioned, not on any all-star team tomorrow, but she has won this contest. You know what? This makes my heart smile so much because you can see how genuinely happy. Thank you for getting behind these women and Terry Jackson from the WNBA Players Association to present the check. Congratulations, Shakina. $10,000 going to a charity of her choice in her hometown of Moralton, room 2911 foster care services. So thank you so much. Shakina, you weren't, a, you weren't an all-star, but they brought you out just to show your magic. And, you know, we just continue to be aggressive and uh, pick it up on our defense, and uh, that's how we win the games. All right, the sun is rising in the WNBA thanks to this superstar, Shakina Strickland. Congratulations on being the Mountain Dew three-point shooting champion. Thank you. And Shakina Strickland, one of the reasons why the